This might be the first undriftable car in this game. You might have seen my recent video that I made in Forza Horizon 4 where we went in and we built the Noble M600. Well, that's one of the exclusive cars for Forza Horizon 4. And I was taking a look at the list and there are a couple more exclusive cars that I still need to unlock. And one of them is very, very cool and has some awesome upgrades. We will need this car for something upcoming that I want to do probably next week or so. So if you want to be included and be a part of the open lobby, go and grab this car. The final exclusive car or the next exclusive car that I wanted to go and get is the Chevy Monte Carlo. The Monte Carlo is actually very, very cool because it has some very, very cool tires that you could put on it to make it look like an old school NASCAR. The way you get it is by getting 30 stars down here at La Racer. As painful as this is about to be, it is gonna be worth it in the end. I actually never went in and did the La Racer stuff. I think for obvious reasons. You know what we should do? We should just mute her. Welcome back. It's me, La Racer at Horizon, and we're counting down the best cars in the best games. I am talking about the 911 Turbo. You mean the car that you couldn't get in Forza in for so many years because Need for Speed owned it? With a turbocharged flat six and... All right, I've had enough of you already. So the whole thing with LaRacer, right, is that she's a she's a video game type of person. So she's making you like relive a bunch of old games. Don't know what the hell this one's supposed. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> Don't know what this one's supposed to be. Wait, 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 wait. So the reason we're using this car is because it's a Porsche 911 Turbo, and she said that you can find a Porsche 911 Turbo in all games. <clears throat> Mmm. Sorry, I just had a bit of a cough. It's all good. I'm okay. I'm stabbing myself in the ears to drown out the annoying girl's voice. Okay, we have to hit 140 miles an hour. This is gonna be real hard. Uh, guys, we're not gonna hit 140. We're not gonna hit 140. Okay, it's gonna be really close. It's gonna be really close. Come on. Come on. It's too slow! It's too slow! We can only do 138! Hey, 140! Hey, got it. No problem. Uh, the first try, I, I, it was just to practice. Obviously. Uh, duh. Thanks, game! I got 100 stars in Horizon Stories! Look at that, I am pretty good at game. And we are back. And I'm almost over that sugar shock. Seriously, Edinburgh, what the heck? And what are we doing? It's easy. It's Daytona! Never mind. 12 seconds later. I have a much better idea. I'm just gonna go to the auction house and buy this silly car. I need the Monte Carlo, please, game. Is it actually gonna tell me Monte Carlo or no? Probably not. Oh. Never mind, it will. Damn it. Yes! Thank you, Nathan! Thank you! Absolute legend. Thank you, Nathan. We've now got... The Monte Carlo, which is a super, super cool car. It's got these super cool tire letters on the thing, and it's almost like like a NASCAR, like an old NASCAR, if you know what I mean. So, I was thinking, oh, I, that's the wrong car. That's an Audi. Look at this car. This, this is what I'm talking about. I wanted to try it out, do some upgrades to it and stuff. So, the thing that makes this car really cool, as, as weird as it sounds, Tire compound. When you go to it, you've got a bunch of tire compounds. You've got your normal things. But yeah, we got race tires, horizon race tires. Like, we've even got normal tire letters on this thing. But on this car, because it's an old classic, like, NASCAR thing, we've also got these tires. Goodyear Eagles from, I don't even know how far back in the day. Vintage race tires. It actually improves the stats by quite a bit like holy shit it actually makes it quite cool so i was thinking we should get those and turn the car into like an old like classic nascar style thing in the rear we've got 345s those are mega we can also bring them out i love that best feature in the game I'm, I'm just saying i love the wide bodies i love racing bringing my tires out and making it look aggressive is so goddamn dope. All right, we need some we need some NASCAR bumpers and stuff. Hell yes, looking fantastic. 
Oh, we could get a little rear wing. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make this thing like a proper race car and we we need a big blower. Uh or not. Nah, never mind. So we can keep the stock V8 in it, which I'm kind of inclined to do. I definitely don't want to go like a V10 swap or anything. We're gonna keep it rear wheel drive. Let's get a supercharger on it. This big this is big old American muscle. Okay, were they really bad at making brakes back in the day? Yeah, DJ saying stock. They cheated so much in the olden days. All right, so after all of our upgrades, 419 horsepower. It's not actually that ridiculous. We're rear wheel drive. We've got a supercharged V8. Weigh 3,000 pounds. I'm just gonna say, thank God we didn't need to go in and do all of the LaRacer stuff. I'm using Joe's paint job right now. We could make it look like this, though. I... Yeah. Let's do it. I like it. Rip, Joe. I'm sorry, Joe. Nathan's like, well, you ruined my car. I'm sorry, Nathan. So we've got our mega cool NASCAR. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. So we've got to go find some races for us to go and do. Since this is like a NASCAR, I feel like we should go on a track that's kind of like NASCAR. I mean, to be fair, this one sort of kind of only has left turns. We'll do that one. Oh, what? This is not what I was expecting to be racing against. Also, that is not retro muscle. That is a C5 Corvette. That's really not even that old. <laughs> what the hell? Like what? Um, also, oh, okay, okay. Corvettes apparently can't turn. I've made a car. That is incredibly grippy. Don't ask me how I did it, but look how grippy this thing is. I'm gunning it 100% out of the corners, and it doesn't spin its wheels. It, it doesn't spin its wheels. I'm on, I'm on infinite grip. This is supposed to be a big American muscle car with a V8, supercharger, rear wheel drive. It grips better than any car I've ever made. Nick, you need to put a thousand horsepower engine in it. I mean, I could, but I'm enjoying this grip. Like, I, I genuinely thought I ruined this car. I made it so good. I love this car. I can't catch up to whatever the hell that guy's in. I mean, I'm gaining a little bit. I think he's in an old Corvette, actually. I, it's so weird. No. There's not gonna be enough time. That Corvette's got a hell of a lot of horsepower. I don't know how he got so far away so quickly, but I like this car. Look at it, it's so cool. It's, we're wearing the cowboy hat too. That wasn't even intentional. Oh my God, I didn't know I would like this car so much. Okay, I mm, I wanna do another race. Holy crap, let's, 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 let's keep this going. I love this car. Shit, folks said he's like, someone unplug his Xbox. He's gonna start to like this car too much. Too late. I love the paint job. I love the tires. I love the grip. Oh yeah, guys, Volks Audi wants everybody to know that there's currently a photo contest going on on the AR12 website uh, for doing stunts in Forza Horizon 4. DJ's like, in before he buys a Monte Carlo in real life. I mean, these things can't be that expensive, right? 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 Like, this thing's dope. I don't even know anything about it, but I don't know. I just, I'm in love with the grip. All right, that guy's just, you're just dumb. You broke your own car. Everybody else is so bad through the corners. It's just, oh, and it shoots flames. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen my post in the club, but I found a future barn find. Oh, yeah! Yeah, so one of the things, if you actually saw my barn find video that I made, or, or DJ's, actually. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, DJ, while he was searching for all of the barns, he found one, or HST found two, I believe, that were not included in the original 15 barn finds for the game. So there are going to be more barn finds coming for Forza Horizon 4. When? We don't know. But, uh, yeah, there are more barn finds coming to Forza Horizon 4 at some point. All right, I keep saying so many good things about this car, yet I am in sixth position, and we are halfway through this race. Sixth is better than last like you usually get? Oh, my God. The vintage race tires have more grip than the usual race tires for the Monte Carlo. Oh. That's why it is so grippy. Intr Wait a second. 
maybe these actually are NASCAR tires. I want to go check that. Because if they are, I mean, that would make a lot of sense as to why they have so much stupid grip. Oh my god, look at my guy. He's wearing gloves. I'm wearing driving gloves for the first time ever. I don't know how I finished fourth. Don't pay attention to that. Yes! Look at it go! <laughs> Sliding into those finish lines. I swear you already said they were NASCAR tires. When I was saying they were NASCAR tires, I was just referring to them having, like, the NASCAR, like... Like the, the 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 tire letters on the side i didn't know they were that grippy for the normal race tires 7.8 and 8.5 these ones 7.9 and 8.6 so you do actually get more grip from these tires it's not much but these are actually the best tires in the game no way I didn't know that! I want those vintage tires on my Chiron. I want them on every car! Nick the Forza Edition Ford Falcon have the same Goodyear tires you can use. Oh man, I... I don't know what else to say other than I just wasn't expecting this. So these are the grippiest tires in the game. So you know if you see someone driving around with yellow writing on their tires, watch the hell out because that thing's gonna be hella quick good to know i love the paint job as well i love the colors so stable it's just turn in hold angle good hold angle it's like i'm driving this without any care in mind of sticking to the road even when i'm trying to slide it it doesn't slide like deja vu da -na 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 -na. what I did not try to straighten up there. It did it itself. It did it itself again. This might be the first undriftable car in this game. Yo, Mustang and a Corvette. Who knows? Maybe the NASCAR is finally going to win something. Holy shit, that Mustang's got some horsepower, though. Draft, 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 draft. Shake and bake. We are a NASCAR. Shake and bake. Shit, he's still got a hell. Oh my god. We cap out at like 150. Oh my god. You see how early he has to break? Nope. Sorry, bro. We don't got that. How do these work on dirt, actually? I'm kind of interested. They feel pretty slidey, but it doesn't feel like anything crazy. I mean, in real life, these type of tires would have no grip off-road like this. And, I mean, they're nothing special off-road. These tires on the road... I love this car. We could have had like over a thousand horsepower and still been gripping it up the entire time. I think we'll save that for the NASCAR video we do with this and the Ford Falcon like you guys were saying. I love the potential. It's crazy. I don't know if it's going to work in a drag race. My only saving grace is that this thing will get no wheel spin off the line. Alex says max all wheel drive it and max power. If you did that, this thing would be probably unstoppable. It would be ridiculous. Like, we get a little bit of wheel spin off the line. But as soon as, like, the tires go, Oh yeah, I'm supposed to grip. You're just gone. I mean, these guys' power will kick in. I don't know how we're running away from a Viper. But... Okay. Okay. Yes. Stay close to the pole. We gotta do our victory donuts. Now the fact that we've found... I'm gonna say it. This is probably my new favorite car. It's just so fun. I, I don't know why I like Mega Grip so much, but it's it's awesome. This thing is my new favorite race car, and that Dodge Viper is my new favorite drift car. Unstoppable. The worst part about all of this is that I need to go give this car back to Nathan.